I'm a normal person. Is that like, I am normal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into episode number 12 in my 32 mock drafts in 32 days series. We are on to the Minnesota Vikings, a team that has a good quarterback. They're probably going to keep Kirk Cousins, really, two really good receivers in big need of defensive players. Let's take a look at their draft pick arsenal. They do have their first rounder, second rounder, and third rounder. They do not have any fourth rounder, but they do have a fifth, sixth, Oh my goodness, they've got like 10 six-round picks. We're going to have to, I'm going to try and trade all those six-round picks for like a fourth rounder. We'll see if we can do that. And then they have a seventh-round pick. Vikings top needs, you can take a look, edge rusher, cornerback, safety, linebacker, and a tight end. Uh, heavy defense. This is a team you're looking in the first round for a cornerback or an edge rusher, whichever falls. Maybe a George Karloffis. I don't know if he fits their system, but maybe on Ahmad Gardner at the cornerback position. Trent McDuffie, someone like that. We'll have to see. Let's get right into it. Minnesota Vikings, 32 mock drafts, 32 days, full seven-round mock draft. No, I've been telling people I'm not gay. Guys, I'm not gay. I'm not. I am not gay. I'm nothing against gay people, but <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, we are on the Minnesota Vikings full seven round. Let's do it. I'm not going to trade up. It'd be interesting. The Vikings, if they really like, if they really like Ahmad Gardner, maybe they would trade up or maybe Derek Stingley Jr., but we will actually hope like Ahmad Gardner falls to us. I think that'd be a perfect fit for this team. And look at this. See guys, the, wow, George Karloffis. So the, this, the, you can take a look at the Mock Draft Simulator with some interesting picks. Uh, pretty good picks. Ch Charles Cross to the Falcons. I'm not sure about that one. Kenny Pickett. Oh, but guys, we're starting off beautifully. See, the thing is, I woke up today and I was like, just put on nice clothes. Be professional today in this Mock Draft. You don't have to be a weirdo today. You don't have to act like a weirdo. I don't know why they have Trent McDuffie ahead of uh, Ahmad Gardner. You take a look at this kid, 6'3", yes please. Oh my goodness, I love the 6'3", long and lengthy. The NFL cop for Ahmad Gardner is uh, is uh, Jalen Ramsey from me, and he's like number five on my big board or something. This kid's unbelievable. Um, are we looking at, it says they need, see, it says they need a QB. Like PFF, the thing is PFF, I, like it's not like Kirk Cousins is unbelievable, but I would not put QB at one of their top team needs. I, I just do not understand that. Like the QB is that okay? If you traded Kirk Cousins for draft picks, I could understand saying QB is your number one need. Kirk Cousins just threw 33 touchdowns. I'm not saying Kirk Cousins is this beast or anything. I would like to see Minnesota try and upgrade, but you cannot put that as their number one team need. What are we doing? And then it says they need a guard center. Edge rusher and cornerback. So, is there any good edge rushers? I just want I want to be thorough. I want to be professional. There's no great edge rushers on here. Wait, that's defensive line. That's not edge rushers. I was going to say. Uh, walk, yeah. They're not, J, Ojabo. People would argue Ojabo. People would also argue Jermaine Johnson. I don't like either Ojabo or Jermaine Johnson. <laughs> Let's see how they do at the combine. We'll see how they do. But McDuffie is way too small. I would never draft him this high. Um, I'm drafting my number one corner. Uh, Ahmad Gardner. I think it's a great fit. And uh, we will let this go by. Let the AI do their thing. We have our second round pick and we will be looking for maybe an edge rusher, maybe best player available. I wonder if they need a DT. I know uh, uh, Hunter, uh, Daniil Hunter might be leaving the Vikings. He's older. Why? There's no way. It's just unrealistic. Devontae Wyatt, for those, of you, for those of you guys who don't know, is going to be a mid-first round pick by the time the draft comes around. Uh, he's that good. So, to me, it's unrealistic. Um, I might have to take my my guy, Brian Asimoa. I've been taking him. Jaquan Brisker. They, I love Jaquan. They don't really need a safety. There's this twitchy edge rusher. Uh, it says they need a guard. Like, the thing is, I look at, like, the interior offense. All these guys are going to fall. They're all going to fall. Like, like, I may take Parham later. I'm not going to take him right now. Uh, I'm going to take a guy. Wyatt is such good value here. But again, it's like not realistic. Like, I'll draft Wyatt right now, and then in a month when someone's watching this and seeing Wyatt is like being mocked 10th overall, it's not going to make sense. It's just, I mean, I would, it, like, I would take him just based on value alone. Um, quarterback, it says they need a QB. I, like, I, I would, listen, if they needed a quarterback, I would 100% take Carson Strong right here. 100%. But you have Kirk Cousins, and it's like there's been reports they're not trading Kirk Cousins. They want to keep Kirk Cousins for this year. 
So uh, it's one of those situations where I'm not going to take a quarterback. We'll look for an edge rushers. We'll look to see if they have any good edge rushers. Um, my J Sanders. Oh yeah. I got to go with him. I haven't drafted him yet. I got to go with him underrated. This was a top 30 guy right before the off season happened. I think people got scared at his measurables. Maybe he didn't produce a lot. Very underrated like me, some my J Sanders. And then I think it's so obvious here. I mean, I just, the value is just unbelievable with Brian. I see Moa. We, you guys know our, our past history. We kind of had a relationship. We dated, whatever, guys. I'm trying. I'm just. You know, I gotta stop doing that, dude. I just. I'm being normal. I'm trying to be. Oh, Kobe Bryant. I like Kobe Bryant, man. Why do I never see Kobe Bryant? It's like they hide him from me. Oh my God. What did they not have a? F I'm. Tr oh, Marcus Jones got picked. That wasn't a guy I would have drafted. I don't know. Do these teams just not own draft picks? No, we have to trade up. We have to trade up. 124, I'll give you 155. I'll give you 226. If they accept this, this thing is just broken. Oh, you know what? Okay, we'll... Th well, listen. Now, this is it. Well, 190. That's... This trade will likely be accepted. What if we want once... Oh, so they could... It's basically a, a cheat sheet. They have now. This trade has a 61% chance of being accepted. 124 and 223 for 155 and 190. Um, I mean, yeah, let's do it. We, we, we can do that. There we go. And we move up. So Dylan Parham, it says they need a guard. It seems like a good fit. It seems like good value here. Tyler Smith, you know, that's a great option as well. Uh, they also need a center. Wow, so we can really load this team up. Just looking, just trying to find maybe higher upside guys. Christian Watson is an interesting receiver to keep your eyes on. Calvin Austin is a midget, unfortunately. Cam Taylor Britt, he's got some dog in him. Guys, Cam Taylor Britt, I would be drafting him if I were you and you're doing these mock drafts later rounds. This dude's got, this dude's got to be good. He, I can tell Cam Taylor Britt just based off of how he plays, man. He's going to be good in the NFL. Braxton Jones. So, man, I don't pick until 182. Jesus, uh, but we will go ahead and draft. Who is this kid? They made another kid up. They, this is an AI simulated kid. Um, boy, I wonder if they are going to draft a running back. Dalvin Cook is getting up there, but I don't. I don't see this early. Maybe we're going to take Parham. It's a team need. We're, like I'm. Be, I'm trying to do good. I'm doing a good job, guys. I feel like I'm. I'm not stressing out. I'm taking the team needs. I'm. Tr I, I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning, guys. At like three, 5 or 6 a.m., I don't know, like 5.30, I was like, just be normal. Just be normal. Just take the players. Like Christian Watson, I don't know what's going on with uh, Adam Thielen's contract. He seems to be, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if they actually got him a new contract or not. Because I would take uh, Christian Watson. You know what? I'm taking, well, do they have another receiver? Who cares? Yeah, we'll take Christian Watson. There's good value. The young receiver. Take Christian Watson late in your draft, guys. We actually have two more picks left. Oh, we're going to load up. We're going to load up with high. I could t draft this kid. They do need a center. Oh, yeah. This is working out beautifully. This kid is an AI-generated player. He's not real. This kid is not real. What did he? What is he, Tua's brother? There's no way. I already looked that up. Um, Maybe Isaiah Thomas. Do they need a punter, I wonder? Kennedy Brooks? Kennedy Brooks is actually, you know what? I'm sick of just letting Kennedy Brooks go by. Let's actually take a look at the tight ends, maybe. Yeah, let's actually take a look at some of these players. Again, a lot. Ty Chandler is interesting. Ty Chandler is an interesting running back that you could find good value with him. I remember he was a top, uh, he was a top prospect back in high school. Um, Brock Purdy. I remember Brock Purdy was being mocked in first round, first round, uh, like, he was like a top 20 pick before this college football season started. He is, I don't know how he was a top 20 pick, honestly. Um, Zamir White, that's a former five-star. But guys, I think I am going to go, who did I say I was going to draft? What if we, well, I think I am going to go ahead and go and draft maybe Isaiah Thomas. Kind of a rangy pass. I like it. Get another pass rusher. No, I like it. Keep, you got to keep drafting the pass rushers. No matter what, keep drafting. We got a nice little draft here. Got a lot of team needs for this team. Let's take a look at it and see how it went. Look at that. The Chargers with... Well, it didn't even want to show me it. Please work. Please. Please load. Sometimes it does this. It does this. Oh, come on. There we go. So, I like... You know, you get Ahmad Gardner... 
at number 12, great value. You need a cornerback that fills a need. He's going to be a shutdown quarterback. My Jay Sanders, if you really want to get, you know, kind of jiggy with it, you could maybe actually trade down a few spots and probably still get my Jay Sanders. But I really do like this kid a lot. Brian Asimoa, it's, you know, we have, you know, I love that dude. I it's, love him. Um, and then we trade it up a little bit. Parham, get the team need. Watson, you can never have too many receivers. Receiver is my favorite position group. Get the center, you know, good value. They're picking up 223rd, 94th on the big board. And then you take another pass rusher. That is the Minnesota Vikings mock draft. The headliners, Gardner, Sanders, Asimoa. I said, you know, I, I said before I did this draft, I wanted defensive players. I just got them three studs. This is what I do. I was going to be professional today, and I killed it, and I killed the AI. Boom! Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're following me. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.